Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. Today my video is going to be about all my favorite products in the month of May. So I have a lot of products to share with you guys. So without any further ado, let's get started. Let's start with skincare first and the first thing that I wanted to share is this Dove Natural Touch Dead Sea Minerals um, Antiperspirant Deodorant and I got this uh, for Rs 195 very recently. I personally prefer roll-ons than spray-on deodorants and this is something that is right up my alley and I absolutely love using this. It smells really nice, um, it keeps your underarms sweat free and this one is the Dead Sea Minerals one uh, which I thought smelled the best and the bottle was mint, that's why I got it and I loved using this this month. Next thing for skincare, I have a sunscreen that I shared in my haul video and this is from La Roche Pussy and this is their uh, Antelios XL which is a 50 plus sunscreen. I was really worried about uh, changing my sunscreen because I have been using Neutrogena for a long time now but uh, La Roche Posay is a brand that I actually started trusting a lot because of using Fakla Duo for such a long time and that's why I took a plunge and started to try this and I'm so happy that I did. Um, this is a very very light weight sunscreen and it does not leave your skin feeling heavy, sticky and it does not leave that whitish cast on your skin at all. And what you need to do with this is that you're not supposed to rub it in between your palms because the uh, formula is really fast absorbing. You just need to take a little bit on your palms and then just uh, apply it all over your face. The only problem with this is that whenever I take out a little bit uh, more of the cream, like more than what is needed for my face, I feel like this slight tingling sensation on my skin. Uh, it's like as if it's burning my skin or something like that and it's very slight. Uh, goes away after some time and thankfully it hasn't created any rashes or anything. I think it's just the formulation of this and I have really sensitive skin. Uh, maybe that's why I've got that sensation and it's usually when I take more than the required amount. If I take like a small coin sized amount that's not what happens on my face. Up next I have something for hair care and this is the Garnier Fructis Oil in Cream, Oil Replacement Cream. This is a very new product launch that they've had and I was really excited to try it like right when it came out. Um, what basically this is, is something that can be used as a replacement for oil but it does not have the stickiness or the heaviness of applying oil. Like you can't really apply oil and go out. Uh, that's because your hair gets like really dense with the oil and it's like it gets sticky and stuff and if you sleep with oil in your head like you get it on your pillow and stuff things get messy uh, but with this it's like it does the same job like an oil does but without that heavy or sticky feeling you can actually not feel the stickiness on your finger once you like use it like this it, it feels really really light and all you do is just take that and apply it on your hair. So you can use this like after um, you wash your hair as like a leave-in like I'm doing right now. You could also do this before you wash your hair. So you use it exactly like you would use coconut oil or olive oil. Like you would massage it on your scalp, you would massage it on your hair and just drench your hair with the cream and leave it for like an hour or half an hour or even overnight and this would work exactly like an oil would. First things first is the price. This is really affordable at rupees 60 for 100 gram. And the second thing is that the product really works. My first impression of the product was that uh, this is just going to be some other thing but when I applied it I was actually really really happy with the results. My hair did feel really soft and I like to use this especially on my third day or fourth day hair uh, where my ends get really dry but my like, scalp is oily so what I do is like apply this in the ends and then just use a dry shampoo on the scalp so that uh, it looks like I just washed my hair so it has actually helped me a lot and I would really recommend this cream. If you are curious, I think you should definitely try this out and I think it really works. So the next thing that I wanted to show is the Bee Blunt 
dry shampoo and I absolutely love this dry shampoo. I think it has been a really nice investment and I'm so happy that I actually took the plunge and bought this. This was for rupees 500 something if I remember it correctly and this is something that you would use uh, just like any regular dry shampoo. Just shake it up and just lift your hair up like this and then just spray it onto the roots like so and just gently massage your hair so that you know uh, it absorbs all the excess oil can you see the amount of volume I just got by just one spray you can't really see any like whitish uh, residues left by the dry shampoo which is why I really like this and this has a really nice like slight fruity and zesty smell to it uh, which I think is really nice so this is another product that I really want to recommend. <sighs> Finally into makeup. First things first is this Sivana Color Shimmer Brick. And this is something that I bought for rupees 200 only. And this has been one of my best investments ever. Like, ever. <laughs> so um, what I love about this is that you can use this as uh, like a bronzer blush and highlighter like separately or you could uh, just mix it all up and just apply it on your cheeks which is what I did today and the best part is that you can even use this as an eyeshadow which is exactly what I did today. This is insanely pigmented, it lasts really long and it looks really really nice. Uh, you could get uh, something similar to this in Bobbi Brown. I think Bobbi Brown was the first one to actually come out with shimmer bricks. I think even Revlon have their shimmer bricks and the Body Shop has shimmer brick. Uh, because I know a lot of you told me that you can't really find the brand Savannah Colors anywhere. So yeah. The next thing that I have is from the brand Lotus and I am so thankful to you guys for recommending to me and the first thing that I wanted to share is this mascara which I absolutely love okay I fell in love with the mascara it is amazing I think it's going to be one of my favorite drugstore mascaras uh, this is a uh, Lotus Max lash and this is how the wand looks like this is a waterproof mascara and it's actually the blackest mascara that I've ever used um, what I love about this is that it is a very wet formula uh, there are certain mascaras which are really really dry and those are not my type I really like wet ones that uh, actually feel like you're applying something on your lashes uh, the only problem with this is that it starts flaking uh, but you can just wipe that away and go on with your life uh, but yeah that is the only problem that I have with this is that it flakes a little bit uh, other than that it's a, it's a beautiful mascara to try out uh, then I also got two kajals from them. Uh, this is their uh, color kick one and this is their eco stay. And I think I like the eco stay one more than the color kick. Uh, this is uh, like a copy of the Maybelline um, Colossal Kajal. And, uh, but I think this is like way better than the Colossal one because it goes dark in just one swipe. Uh, but it does not stay as long as the Eco Stay one and the Eco Stay one is even darker than the colored cake one. The only problem is that you have to sharpen this manually and this one comes uh, with that like roll on stick packaging. So that's the convenience of this one but this one is way better than this one. The next thing that I wanted to show is something that I got from Sephora Pune and this is called Design My Eyebrow by The Face Shop and this is so freaking amazing. So um, it is an eyebrow pencil uh, which has like a slight angle to it. It's very similar to the Soap and Glory one or the Anastasia Brow Wiz and it also has uh, whoops, wrong side and it also has uh, like the spoolie on the back which is a really good quality spoolie and I got the shade number 2 dark brown because I have black eyebrows so uh, I think this is called Love Me X and it has a cute moustache in it <laughs> so um, I really really like this it has that waxy formula to it which really sticks onto your eyebrows and it does not really look like you've done anything to your eyebrows uh, because it looks really natural and it's very soft and smooth and you can actually mimic 
uh, the shape of your eyebrows really well and draw flicks of hair with it really well and then once you're done drawing you can just use the spoolie to set and just uh, soften your eyebrows and this was for only rupees 325 and now I wish I had got like two three of them because they are so nice and finally I want to share my favorite lipsticks for this month uh, the first one that I want to talk about is from uh, Savannah colors again and this is their I don't know like lipstick pencil I think it's called the lipstick pencil and this is in the shade number five I don't really know what the shade is called because everything is written in Thai um, so yeah it's a really orangish red and you know the best part about this lipstick is that it smells like coconut and um, that's really nice Last but not the least, I have this lipstick combo that I've been wearing a lot this month and that's something that's on my lip right now and this is a combination of uh, Maybelline's 14-hour uh, lipstick in uh, non-stop red and this is a Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream in number 5. This is really light pink and this is a really dark red. So when I put them together, you get this perfect everyday pink which I love and the best part since uh, this one is like a mega long lasting lipstick and so is this one so when these two meet they become like super duper long lasting like I'm not even kidding how long lasting like the combination of these two are they're amazing. So these were all of my monthly favorites for the month of May. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and found some really good recommendations for you guys. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.